a lot of ways folks were coming back home and we're damn excited about doing that. And Major General Mike Milano, Chief of Armor and Commander of Fort Knox, Kentucky, was referring to the Armor Center's move to Fort Benning, where Armor and Cavalry troops once trained between 1935 and 1937. Milano stood shoulder to shoulder with Major General Farragher, Chief of Infantry and Fort Benning Commander, as they gave their Maneuver Center of Excellence update to warfighting attendees. There's a partnership that's been bonded and, and clearly 50% uh, of our efforts, both here and at Fort Knox, for the next, uh, next year and then the year after are gonna be the four of us and our teams working together to establish the Maneuver Center of Excellence right here at uh, Fort Benning, Georgia. Farragher called it the team of teams and both commanders are confident that the armor school move to Fort Benning will be a smooth one. There will be no degradation in quality or quantity in our trained soldiers as we execute this transition. The $3.5 billion project is well underway and the first of 41 armor courses is slated to begin in January of 2011. Those, uh, those sergeants and, sol and uh, leaders and soldiers have to finish their last class that they're teaching at Fort Knox and then in a 90-day window pack up, get here, set up again because the next group of young soldiers is ready to be taught. When the Maneuver Center is fully operational, more than 50% of all soldiers will take initial training here at Fort Benning and all infantry and armor officers will pass through the basic officer leader course and the captain's career course. 144,000 soldiers coming through the, the gateways here at Fort Benning uh, after the, the year uh, 2011. Consider that, that churn over a year or two or three and the impact that, that our great installation will have on the Army. Nate Snook, Fort Benning TV.